Have you ever found yourself struggling to pick up the right seismic reflections while interpreting seismic data? If so, you are not alone. Picking seismic reflection has been a challenging task for decades. Discover how machine learning is changing the process of horizon tracking in oil and gas industry. Join me as I explore the history, the current challenges of analytical and machine learning methods. Whatever you are a geophysicist, a data scientist or just someone who is interested in the field, this video is for you. My name is Ruslan, I am the head of software development at Geoplot AI. I've been in the field of seismic data interpretation for over 6 years and I work on improving horizon tracking algorithms. I understand the challenges when it comes to picking seismic reflections in different geologies and noise levels. I'm excited to share my experience and insights with you in this video. Interpreting subsurface geology is a vital task in oil and gas industry and correctly identifying seismic horizon is a crucial step in that process. These horizons play a key role in building subsurface structural and stratigraphic models. Furthermore, they are essential in various other applications such as inversion, time to depth conversion and seismic attribute analysis. Bottom line is this, if you don't pick seismic horizons correctly, you are missing out on crucial information about the subsurface. Imagine drilling a well in the wrong place or missing a vital reservoir. The consequences could be devastating. Despite its importance, Picking seismic reflection is a challenging task, more challenging than the identification of faults and salts. And there are several reasons for this. One of the main challenges is that the seismic data is non-unique. For example, when encountering faulted structures, it can be difficult to determine where the seismic tracker should jump to. This can lead to inconsistencies in interpretation. Another challenge is the presence of noise in seismic data. Random noise in the data can decrease the signal-to-noise ratio, making it harder to track events in seismic slices. Additionally, coherent noise, such as migrational and multiples, can also complicate the task of identifying the correct event to track. Picking is a subjective task that is often performed by human interpreters, who can introduce errors due to individual biases or lack of experience. Additionally, organizations may not have access to experts with necessary knowledge to pick horizons in certain geological settings, leading to errors in interpretation and ultimately inaccurate results. Now we've covered the challenges, let's move on to the methods used for tracking them, starting with analytical approaches. When it comes to identifying seismic reflection, a variety of analytical methods have been developed to assist in this process. One of the most popular methods is the slope-based method. This method is robust for noise, but it can fail to reveal geological structures due to averaging the local features. Additionally, this method might not be able to pick correct horizons across a fault. To overcome these limitations, some methods remove the faults from the seismic image before extracting horizons, while others use manual control points as constraints. However, there are other methods proposed to extract horizons without removing faults, such as computing multigrid correlations. Waveform-based methods, on the other hand, use the coherence or correlation between the neighboring traces. These methods often follow a small variation in structures and are locally optimal, making them effective in revealing detailed structures. However, these methods may fail to extract consistent horizons while passing through some discontinuities. Another type of method is the RGT method which computes the relative geological time values with some techniques and extract the RGT contours to obtain horizons. These methods are globally optimal, but often generate smooth horizons that lack detailed geological information. A straightforward but laborious way of estimating RGT is to automatically track or manually pick seismic horizons as many as possible and then assign every horizon surface to the RGT value. Although the resulting RGT volume 
volume strictly honoring the interpreted horizons, it fails in resolving local structures among those horizons. Finally, the hybrid algorithms. The method starts with initial horizons and refines it by searching for an optimal path using dynamic programming. It can capture more consistent phases, revealing intricate structures, and it's not sensitive to a limited number of control points. In the paper published 2022, the authors combined coherent tech with the Verter B algorithm to track seismic horizons in low signal to noise ratio data. The traditional methods of seismic horizon extraction have been widely used for many years. However, with the rapid development of computational technology, machine learning methods have become more popular. Binary classification is a machine learning technique that is used to classify data into two distinct classes or categories. In the context of horizon tracking, this technique could be used for classifying each point in a seismic image as being a part of a horizon or not being part of a horizon. This is done by training a machine learning model on labeled examples and then using that model to predict the class of a new unseen data point. The paper by Young in 2020 is a good example. They designed a CNN architecture for horizon tracking and trained the CNN model using roughly 1% of the seismic volume. The coefficient of determination between the horizon track by CNN model and the manual tracking is 0.99. Segmentation is another machine learning method used for horizon tracking. The network is trained on a data set of label images where each pixel is labeled as being belong to a specific horizon. During the training process, the network learns to identify the patterns in an input image that can respond to different horizons. Shannon in 2020 published a paper. Researchers have formulated horizon picking as multi-class segmentation problem using 3D convolutional neural network, validated on two field data sets and shows accurate results while being trained from a workable amount of manually picked data. Regression methods. In our scenario, the input is the seismic image and the output is the relative geological time value. This is a continuous prediction problem as RGT values can take on any value within a certain range. Let's take a good paper published in 2021. In summary, the proposed method is a neural network based approach that can be used to extract horizon and detect faults in seismic images simultaneously. It has been trained using synthetic seismic volumes and has been shown to outperform conventional approaches in recognizing structural features in the field examples. Very good paper. I recommend everyone to give it a read. If you like what you've seen so far, be sure to smash that like button so that the video will reach more people. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns by interacting with the environment and receiving feedback in a form of rewards or punishments. And the agent's goal is to maximize the total reward it receives over time. As far as I know, we don't have any papers on horizon tracking that utilizes reinforcement learning. It's a relatively new area for innovation and my team and I I are currently working and exploring the potential of reinforcement learning for this task. In conclusion, Picking seismic reflection is a challenging task that had been faced by the industry for decades. I am a believer that the future of horizon tracking is bright especially with RGT and reinforcement learning. This technology can change the game altogether. So keep learning, researching and experimenting with those methods to get better results. And if you haven't already, check out my previous video on Seismic to World Tie, where I go through a range of methods for accurate seismic to well alignment.